First of all, let me say thank you for your generosity and support for what Highland is doing around the world. And I'm excited for what's ahead of us in the Restore the World vision. Right now, we have a team that's been put together that's gonna to spend the next few months dreaming and praying about where God is leading us in our church planning efforts and in development and sending out Highland members. And the team that we put together comes from all different walks of life from different parts of the world and different experiences and missions and ministry. And I hope that you'll enjoy hearing from them about what they're excited about with the Restore the World vision. My, my husband's uh, grandma, when she's alive, she, she, she was a Christian in China in the early 70s. And each time my husband talks about her, I was always wondering and still wondering who's, who, who, who brought the good news to her. It was um, amazing to see how seeds are planted. I was really motivated to join the mission team because I, am, I have such a passion for ministry overseas on the field, for missionary care. Um, it's full circle for me. I grew up in a mission church and just having the opportunity to have conversation that's meaningful and um, transformational for how we see missions, how we see the world, how we see ourselves in a global context is um, really exciting to me and taps into my passions. I think back to years gone by of Glen Owen and our prayer warrior breakfast where we would go over to the old building that kind of exists now um, and we would have Sunny Delight and McDonald's sausage, egg and cheese biscuits and he would tell us stories about his experiences as a missionary. He would tell us about currency exchange and time zones but then he would tell us these stories about how he got to share God's love with people and how those people in turn turned around and shared God's love with the people around them. And so those were formative moments for me. I am so interested to see what God is doing in the world. And I love the idea of people from all different backgrounds collaborating and praying and um, just learning about different opportunities that we're gonna have to serve or to um, help facilitate service. and. That has been so exciting to get to know these people and get to um, just be with these people and see the ways that we're going to get to implement whatever we brainstorm and see what God is going to do with that. So. I think as we talk about the vision of Restore the World and how that um, plays out, I, I'm just really excited to see a common theme or kind of a common voice come out of the community or out of God's people. and. Um, I don't really know where that's going to lead us, but I'm, I'm really excited about seeing that voice and that vision kind of come to fruition.